we're at the workbench today. More specifically, we're at the paint booth. We're gonna do a little experiment with a new product that's coming. Um, Revell Aquacolor Paints. These are acrylic paints from Revell. And some people have asked me, how are the airbrushing qualities of this paint? Well, I've never used Revell paint, so we're gonna learn together how this works through an airbrush. The first thing we'll do is we'll take the Aquacolor Basic Primer, mix that down, shoot it through onto some plastic sheet so that we have a nice surface to paint on, and we'll try to shoot the aqua color. Um, it's a water-based paint, so obviously we'll thin it with some distilled water. Try that. Then what we'll do is we'll use some rubbing alcohol, see how it mixes with alcohol. And then finally, we'll see if it'll mix with lacquer thinner. So let's get to it and check out Ravel's aqua color paints through an airbrush. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll mix down this basic primer and I'll open it up and stir it up. It seems to be pretty good in there. Nothing on the bottom, but it's rather thick. So what I'll do is I'll take my little cup here and I have a cup that has gradients on it. It'll show you how much you put in there. So I'm gonna pour some of this in. And then I'll wipe off the jar. Always clean the threads on your jars. You'll be happy it did next time you go to open it. And then we'll take some basic distilled water. I'm gonna look at my measurement on the side here. And I'm probably gonna go 50-50 with water on this. Maybe a little less. Okay. Oh, I use distilled water, not tap water. We'll mix this up. It seems to be mixing pretty good. So, yeah, kind of like that. So about half and half with water on the primer. All right, so I have my airbrush. I'm gonna pour some of this into it. And we'll turn on the fan and I'll shoot these guys. So there you have it. We've primed the three sample sheets that we're going to spray paint on. Um, this primer is pretty nice. I had it a little bit half and half with water, which was too much. I had to cut it back a little bit. So maybe like three parts paint to one parts water, just, just to get it enough to go through the air gun. But it went on nice and smooth. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a really nice primer. Went on smoothly. And what we'll do now is we'll go ahead, we'll clean up the airbrush and start with the paint. The first thing we'll do is we'll take the aqua color and I have a nice bright red here, uh, luminous red or light red, and we'll open it up, we'll mix it up, and we'll thin it down with some water and shoot it and see how that works. So we'll pop the lid here and I'll take a little stick here and stir it up. And Ravel says you can shoot this straight out of the jar. I don't think you can. I don't think you can shoot any model paint straight out of the jar except model paints that are designed for that purpose, like Vallejo Air, Model Air, things like that. That's pre-thinned to shoot through an airbrush. This is really designed to be brushed on, um, so it's thick. You can see how thick it is. Um, that's not a bad thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of this paint into a jar, or into, into this glass cup and then, as always, wipe off the jar. Make sure you clean your jar tops. We'll put this back over here. You can see I've got some of the paint in the bottom of the, the glass container. And we'll take a little bit of water, take distilled water. I left it in the bottle just so you can see it's water. Pour a little bit of water in there. I may have put a little bit too much, but we'll see. Mix this up. Yeah, it's pretty thin, so I think I'm gonna put a little more paint in here. Oops, that's a lot of paint. Back, we'll mix this up. I'm thinking this is probably like the primer where it's three parts paint to one part thinner. And change it if you like, depends on how your paint sprays. So, okay, so, 
I think that's pretty good. It's still a little bit thin, but not bad. So you can see there it is. I don't think you have to thin this very much at all. I think it's like three to one. All right, so I'm gonna put some of this in the airbrush. We'll get one of those sheets of plastic and we'll shoot it and see how it shoots. So let's load some of this paint. This is Ravel Aqua Color, thinned with water. And then we'll turn on the air gun. So I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna mix some of this down with some of the alcohol and see how it does. This isn't bad. I've mixed up some of this gray color here, a light gray with some rubbing alcohol. And I'm gonna put that in the cup here and we'll give it a shot. on nice and smoothly. Alcohol is a good thinner for this paint. We can do some detail work here. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, if I was going to thin this paint, I would use alcohol. The last type of thinner we're going to check out is lacquer thinner. Now, this isn't for everyone. Uh, it kind of negates the idea of easy cleanup, water and alcohol cleanup pretty easily. Um, lacquer thinner is a heavier uh, chemical than the others. So, you have to be really careful using it. Ventilate good, use rubber gloves. The reason a lot of us modelers use it is because it gives a really hard fast surface. In other words, it dries faster. It, the end result is a lot harder, you know, when you put decals on and things. So this is Gunzi's Mr. Leveler and I have some Tamiya lacquer thinner there. We're going to mix some lacquer thinner up and shoot it and see how it reacts. Bit of, we're going to use blue paint this time. Put a glob in there. This stuff looks a lot thicker than I think it actually is. And that's why you have to thin, be careful thinning it down because once you start to thin it, it gets really thin. So I'm gonna take a little pipette and I've decanted some of the Mr. Hobby Leveler thinner, lacquer thinner. I'm just gonna squirt a little bit in there. Mix it up. See if it mixes. It may not. The lacquer thinner may not work, but usually lacquer thinner works with just about any paint. That's pretty thick. Let's see. Nah. This paint does not like lacquer thinner. It turns into gum. So you can't use lacquer thinner with Revell acrylics. That's too bad. It turns into icing, like cake icing. So don't use lacquer thinner. So what did we conclude? Well, first off, I think that the Aquacolor Revell Aquacolor Basic Primer is a nice product. Don't have to thin it down too much, maybe three to one, maybe a little less. And it sprayed on really nicely, gave me a nice surface to paint on. Secondly, Revell Aquacolor is a good product. I like it. We discovered that you can thin it down with two different things, water and rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. I personally like alcohol better because it dries faster. So when I sprayed and I mixed down with water, I sprayed it and it sprayed on nicely, but it went on kind of wet and took longer to dry. So I had to wait in between coats. But when I shot with the alcohol, it went on really nicely, smoothly, no problem at all. And we learned one other thing, which is lacquer thinner is a no-no. Don't use lacquer thinner with it. So it's good paint. I think different colors have different consistencies, so you've got to kind of eyeball it. Sometimes when people have problems airbrushing paint, it's more 
a matter of mixing. They have to learn the mix of the paint, you know, how much thinner or medium to put in, in this case, water or alcohol. Um, and depending on the color and the type of paint it is, you know, it varies. So it is airbrushable, alcohol, water, good product. See you next time.